now. So hello. Welcome back to the Alexandrian Codex. I am Alex. This is going to be Darkest Dungeon. I have not played this game since it was in Alpha? In Beta? Oh, in something. It's been years. But the game's been out for a long time. And is very well considered at this point. So I would like to hop right into this. I'm going to start out by watching the intro cinematic. And hopefully... I've adjusted the audio so that it's not completely overwhelming. We're gonna find out. Yeah, don't don't play with anything else. It's all this fine party auto sort, huh? Hmm. Huh. 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 Okay. Sure. Fine. Yeah. Ruin has come to our family. You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor, fattened by decadence and luxury. And yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long-buried secrets, exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt-soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. every step unsettled the ancient earth but we were in a realm of death and madness in the end i alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity until consciousness failed me you remember our venerable house opulent and imperial it is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadows of the darkest dungeon. So I watched this earlier when I booted up the game because I had to reinstall it. I do not remember the intro being that long. Fucking good. The narrator, you might notice, is arguably the best point of this goddamn game. It's a beautiful, beautiful voice. Let's jump right in here. I deleted my old saves. All that DLC is fine. I haven't played with any of the DLC before. I want to just play on default. No time limit to win. Campaign will be longer, more challenging than Radiant. Uh, will challenge it faster, more forgiving, suggested for first Darkest Dungeon experience. It's not my first experience, but I'm so unpracticed that it might as well be. Blood Moon, not for the faint of heart, expect no quarter, no forgiveness. You must conquer the evil within a time and a hero death with it. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, Estidian plus Crimson Court. Let's do normal, Darkest. Uh, look, do, 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 do. Alex Andrian. Let's load up. Is this one? I think the audio sounds okay. I think. I'm not 100 on that. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. God, the vocabulary! There is a sickness Ugh. in the ancient, pitted cobbles of the old road. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. 
dun, da, da, dun. So steal yourself. And remember, there can be no bravery without madness. <laughs> the old road will take you to hell. But in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. Again, god damn is it badass. Fuck. Oh good. So good. <laughs> Stagecoach destroyed and the caretaker gone. You will have to make the journey to the hamlet on foot. You are currently in a room. To qu move, click on another room. The map display, this will take you to connecting hallway. Wait a minute, did I play with the resolution at all? Ooh, I probably didn't. Uh, I didn't actually mean to close that. I meant to move myself. Hmm, scale myself. Yeah, nope, 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 clicked on the wrong window. That's me. Make me smaller. Yeah, I'm still in the way, but that's better. Let's take Streamlabs. That's fine. Make it a little bit bigger so I can actually read it. Cool, cool, beautiful. Beautiful. Now, going black like this, every time I click in or out of the window, that'll happen, so I'll try and work on that. It's a terrible habit anyway. So, options, graphics, full screen. Oh, you don't actually change the resolution. Okay, fine, good. So, we are here. This is how you move around. This Brigands have clicking. run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just oh, ahead. Oh god, I have forgot. You uh hold the D button to move. Do I really want you behind? Yeah, I definitely want the Crusader in front. Dispatch this thug in Ah, uh, but because we were surprised our placement got fucked up. Combat is turn based. On your hero's turn, click a skill icon, think quick on a highlighted target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right now, if he were in the back range back row I'd be able to use a pistol shot or grape shot or well actually just grape shot pistol anything but because we were surprised our party order got mixed up and I can move back I don't think it's really worth it to do so can I I can't preview the crusader yeah okay sure let's just use open vein it should make you could bleed yeah bleed will do damage over time like that. They're going to shank me in return, which would make sense if, ah, I resisted the bleed effect. Uh, th none of these are a heal, right? This is an attack, this is an attack, this is an attack, this is a stun. So stunning blow tends to be worth doing this advantage. Give them no quarter. because it can keep them from attacking you back and stun locking is fucking nice. So loot is something you get after every fight or most fights if you're lucky. Now let's rearrange this. I want Reynald to be in the front. Back to the map view. So occasionally, you'll come across things like this, interactive objects. Now, combining these with objects that you have in your inventory is typically the best way to get the best interaction with them. However, I do not at all remember what those combinations are, and I don't really feel like having the wiki open in a separate window and constantly going back and forth and min-maxing, so I think I'll just find it out through play and experimentation because that's the game. Traveler's tent. Check inside the tent. Someone left valuables inside. A That's reward. a fair amount of gold. Task well performed. <laughs> well performed. Yeah, I opened it. Leave nothing unchecked. There is much to be found in forgotten places. Yeah, that's telling you to look at this, but I did. What? What are you on about, game? I checked everything. Going backwards is slower than going forward. I am confused why it did not let us progress. Now, the darkness is getting low, and I don't have any torches, so that's why we're taking these little insanity hits here. What? Excuse you? Oh, you have to click on it. It used to light up, I think. Or I'm just bad, whatever. The rightful owner has returned. So, tracking shot. No longer welcome. Tracking shot gives me a buff and de-stealth things. That's not really important. Grape shot will hit. 
all of them, which is nice. Pistol shot will hit all of them. Open vein could also be nice. Now, neither of those are going to do enough damage to kill anything outright, which is unfortunate. Grape shot will hit both of them, dealing three to five damage. This would only hit this dude, but he'd be bloodied and take damage over time. This would do two to three damage, but would make me do 10% more damage in the future, which is kind of nice, but I'm going to open up with a bleed. Bleeds will tick more over time. He has a lot of HP. I want to start eating him down as quickly as possible. Now we have Smite, which would just hit them. Smite would do 6 to 10, 6 to 12 damage. We could use Zealous Accusation, which can hit the first two rows, but this guy's too big, so he only he takes up two rows. So that would actually do less damage. We could use Stunning Blow, which I'm going to do. It does, it does a horrendously low amount of damage. He has a 50% stun resistance, which is terrifying. I could also use a work of faith. It would make me protected. Oh, torch plus 20. Really? Now we're doing that. Ah, it does race the torch. The... As we're seeing up here, Radiant Light 80, the brighter this is, the better you are. Dodging, scouting, and surprising monsters. You can normally have torches in your inventory, which you use to increase that light, but we did not start with any. We are <laughs> using that instead. It's kind of a waste of his turn, particularly because we don't have any heals. I'm going to try to use the stunning blow to stun him. He has a 50% stun resistance, so yeah, I kind of expected that to happen. That's very lucky. Well, either lucky or due to the light. I suppose I should blame the light to take credit for that. Again, the Crusader is just soaking up damage here, but our poor Highwayman is having a bad fucking time. How much health do you have? Yeah, let's just... Let's just kill you. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. When most monsters die, they leave corpses. Corpses act as temporary obstacles and will eventually go away on their own. You can attack corpses to destroy them faster, but often a better approach is to use range skills, push-pull skills, and even corpse clearing special skills that some heroes possess. That's new, isn't it? I think that's new. That was not a thing when I played, anyway. Uh, neither of these can hit you, so let's just move you in front. Protect that. We have Pistol Shot, which could do... Let's do this. Because it could clear that faster. Yeah, it clears that, which means the Crusader will be able to attack them. Next turn. And we can clear that. Deeds are useful Remind later on. Food can restore health. Slow and insidious killer. Gold is nice to have in general. Completing a quest. Da -da 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 -da. You don't need to return to the starting room of the dungeon to exit. You just click on this thing. Oh, return to Hamlet, continue adventuring. Yeah, there's this. Yeah, I, it's trapped. I should have opened it with the highwayman. Yeah, well, he's poisoned now, but... I can leave anyway. <laughs> got 5,000 gold. Got a bunch of worthless food. Deeds are used for improving stuff later on. Book got XP. That's cool. Uh, so these will reveal new traits, new personality traits that these gentlemen will have and everyone will have. Traits can either be good or bad. Typically, they're bad. Like, Bruins Adventurer. You get less stress in Bruins. That's pretty good. Not great, but pretty good. And the last gasp is also good. One SPD if HP is below, one speed if health is below half. So as a uh, Highwayman, that's quite nice. As anyone, I suppose it's quite nice. It's better than getting any bad abilities. Welcome home, such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now. 
and you are bound to them. So, and now apprentices I escorted you to the Hamlet Cool. Complete your first foray into the ruins, defeat the necromancer, the sonorous prophet, the necrom the actual necromancer, the fulminating prophet, the necromancer ward, the gibbering prophet, the wizened hag, the brigand eight pounder, the hag, the brigand twelve pounder, the hag witch, the brigand sixteen pounder, the swine prince, the inch inchuit flesh, the swine king, the unstable flesh, the swine god, the formless flesh, the siren, the sodden crew, the alluring siren, the sunken crew, the beguiling siren, the drowned crew, repel the brigand incursion, succeed in your assault, your second assault, your third assault, and your final assault. Explore the courtyard, dismiss the baron, unseat the viscount, and depose the countess. There's a lot of things to do, point being. Um, roster goals, raise an abomination, antiquarian, arbalist, bounty hunter, crusader, flagellant, grave robber, hellion, highwayman, houndmaster, jester, leper, man-at-arms, occultist, plague doctor, shieldbreaker, and vestal. The resolve level 6. These are all classes like highwayman and crusader. Each of them play very specific roles and I'm looking forward to trying to remember what those are. H? Oh, it's a help menu. That's handy. Yeah, the different structures around here do different things. Um, the stagecoach lets you recruit new heroes, which we want to do. You can have a party of four and we only have two. The Ancestor's Memoirs. I don't In remember time, what this is. You will know the tragic extent of my failings. Oh, this is a way to go back and look at the cutscenes? Or the story bits? I don't know. The graveyard, if we already had Most dead heroes, this here, is where they would be. Covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. Oh, this dude's laughing. That's kind of dark. And these are for each of the class. Oh no, that's to jump between women and men, buildings. soldiers that's cool. and outlaws, fools and corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. Yeah. Recruit all of these heroes to fill out a party of four. Yes. So we get a plague doctor and what a better laboratory vestal. than the blood-soaked battlefield. To upgrade the stagecoat. Do I want to though? I mean, I can't. I have. Oh, I do. I start out with crests and deeds and busts. <laughs> Bust. Portraits. Really. Uh, can I upgrade the graveyard in any way? No. The graveyard serves no function except for making you feel bad about yourself. Great, stagecoach. A larger network would get us what? More heroes. Hero barracks would allow us to have more heroes, but we're not even halfway to our limit right now. We will want that. But stagecoach network... Great heroes can be found even here. In the mud and rain. Let's update this all the way here. Let's just go hard on that so we can hopefully get some new types of heroes next time. If we take a look at... There isn't much more you can do in town right now. Yeah, but I'd like to look at these people. Oh, right quick. Okay. So, Renald is a warrior of light. So if Torch is above 75, he does more damage. That's great. Takes less stress and ruins, that's great. He's God-fearing, so he will only pray for his stress relief, that's annoying. He's prone to stealing items, that's pretty annoying. Ismas is has a hard noggin, so he's hard to stun. Quick reflexes, so he's fast. And last gasp, if his HP is below 50, he gets even faster. That's great. Known cheat, not allowed to gamble while in town, that's not a big deal. Marisco? Marisco? Is a Warren's exporter. Well, we're not going to the Warren's, but that's good. He's a Wold tactician. We're not in the Wold, but that's cool. Flawed release. Well, that's a pity. He has a lot of ranged skills. Sikwi, that sucks too. Osin. 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 Has improved stress reduction while meditating and while camping. Cool. The Yips. Less accurate, huh? Okay, well. That's fine. What I want her in is the back row anyway. She has Divine Grace, which means she can actually heal people. 
He's the only one with any fucking heals right now, right? Yeah. Uh, Battlefield Medicine. No. Um, the, uh, these two can heal. I mean, this is mostly a blight or bleed fix, but it is technically a heal. This is a nicer heal. So these two will be dealing damage. I'm going to have to figure out what order I want them in once, once we're going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, let's embark. What is this? Plus goals. Inventory. Glossary. Yeah. Embark. A mecca of madness and morbidity. Your work begins. So, in here, you pick quests. We can either... No, we can't do this. This requires level 6. I can't. I won't. They'll comment on how difficult something is. This is level 1. This is level 6. Could I actually... I could jump straight into this. That would be suicide. It would be literally suicide. So our order is... You need to be in either 4 or 3. You need to be in either 4 or 3. Um, really, either of those work for you. Any of the skills you have. You should be in 4 or 3 for any of these? Well, this will be your front row stuff, so hopefully we won't need to do that. You should definitely be behind Renald, but where you are in slot 2 means you can use Wicked Slice, Pistol Shot, Grape Shot, Open Vein. Yeah, you can use pretty much everything where you are. Sweet. Yeah, let's click on this. And before we go out to adventure, we provision the expedition. The cost of preparedness. Measured now in gold, later, later in blood, in blood, edgy. So yeah, you want to take different supplies depending on what region. Da, 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 da. So you, we have holy water. We have anti venom. Oh, sure. We will want a shovel. We will want one, two, three, four, five torches. I think I don't really know how many torches. Uh, we'll want well food. Fuck. Yeah, twelve food. Hold on. Oh, good. It sells back at full price. I was like, are we gonna get screwed by this? Bandits. Uh, ba bandits. Bandages can stop bleeding. We don't really need to worry about this. We have a skill that can handle this. We actually have a skill that can handle this as well. Can't be sold. Oh. Oh. You get free items for certain classes now. That's nice. Let's take a skeleton key. It won't really be that necessary. But that's that's good. That might be overkill. I think one shovel should be enough. Later on, you start running into more stuff you need shovels for. But I think for the first one, the game won't fuck me. Not on this difficulty, anyway. Not good, but... How's that audio looking? I think it looks fine. So again, to adventure, just select the destination room. Yeah, move to there, and we walk it. Ooh, this is an unburnt torch. Nice. So this we're going to want to keep high. So here's another room. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'd like to pop this before we go in. So this A will be. Star is born. Oh, you can snuff out your torches or reduce torches. Weird. Why would you want to do that? It makes scouting higher, dodge higher, and monsters more likely to be surprised by us. I don't know if there's anything in this room, but if there is, there is. Do I surprise you? Fuck you. I wish I did. Um, so, these can't bleed. They have 200% bleed resistance. They have no blood to bleed. So, open vein would be worthless here. We could use tracking shot, but I think grape shot would be the best way to do it. It'll do some damage to both. Won't kill either. This could kill one, but it might not even kill one. This could also... No, wouldn't... So, this would hurt both. It won't kill one, but... They're both halfway to death now. Dazzling light. Um, this would heal yourself. 
this increases our torch, which is not needing to be increased a lot, but any chance to raise it is better than not. So let's do that. It missed. In radiance, may we find but victory. torch did go up. We only have Noxious Blast. They're not very blight resistant, really. Okay. So let's do that to the dude in back, I suppose. And you are blighted. Huh. Stunning Blow? I mean, we don't really need Stunning Blow. Zealous Accusation, I'm gonna hit the dude in the back. Because he's already gone, he has not. It, it's both of them! them no oh, oh, well, alright. So let's... let's look at skills here. I don't really know. Well, you have the highest dodge, so let's have you open the chest. Packs laden great, with loot. great. Oh, but they gave us a shovel, so we might supplies. actually need it. Um, you can't heal outside of combat. That's right. That's a shame, but that's fair. This is why we need shovels. Even the cold stone Rubble bent on preventing takes a long time to clear out without it. Do I surprise you? Nah. Alright, that's fine. So this lady in the back can bleed. Cultists can bleed, but I can't hit her, so I'm just going to use this to hit everyone. Cool, we dodged that stress, that's great. Now we're tart- <laughs> Tarting? Oof. Starting to take damage. Quake Grenade would only hit her, but she's the one I'm most interested in killing. It's only going to poison her, which is what I wanted. I want to use Dazzling Light on her. She's stunned, our light has gone up, very cool. And with Renault, I want to use Zealous Accusation. It's... Um... Holy damage? Why do I feel like... Oh, this does more damage against Unholy. This just hits both of them. Their but it's enough. Is broken. Maintain the offensive. And, more importantly, our white goes up. She's stunned. She's going to die. He's blighted. She did. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Got a thousand gold and onyx. Onyx is victory. really only useful to be but sold. A victory nonetheless. That is good to have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Our torch white is pretty good, but not push it. The light. Let's just the get the best buff safety. we can out of it. Nothing in here. Ah, we're scouting. Scouting lets you see what's on the way. Like this, we see is room battle with Curio. This is a room battle with treasure. Uh, they both have traps on the way there, so what I'd like to do is walk up to one, maybe go here, go down, go back up, then go here. I suppose if we go to one of these rooms and this isn't scouted, we'll then come back to this room, then go there. So that we'll have doubled the chance for it to be scouted. I'd like to go to the treasure first, because that's more worth our time, I think. I'm going to be a bit more... A fortune waiting to be spent. Yeah, we need to get rid of that, <laughs> that trait before too long. Thieves suck. I probably didn't surprise you, and you didn't surprise me. Yep, nothing nothing exciting. Let's hit all three of them, or make the brawler bleed. Ah, uh, let's make him bleed. Alright. Let's... Noxious Grenade would hit you. Should I hit you anyway? We could just kill him. I think the bleed will kill him anyway, so I'd rather poison her. Or blight her. Not not dodged. That's okay. Oof. That makes it darker, which I don't like. Torch. Let's do this. Let's stun this guy. He hasn't moved. So torch is nice. Stun. Can't do anything. He died. <laughs> now we're to you. You can use Zealous Accusation to make it brighter in here. Is that true? 
No, Bulwark of Faith makes it brighter in here. I'm definitely gonna do that. I want to use less torches, so if I can get this up with ways that don't involve torches, I'm very excited about that. Now, I could make her bleed. No, you just slaughter. fucking kill her anyway. Destroy He's really good. Forward. So let's stun you. Resisted. That's fair. Uh, this will heal somebody. One, this will do white damage that you're not resistant to. Never mind. You're resistant to it. <laughs> I thought they were resistant, but it says 25%, so I went and fooled myself. You're unholy. This does damage against unholy. Another one falls. No problem. That's dead. So we got Onyx, cool. Seize Citrine, cool. Holy water Push is nice. Tasks end. You, I want to open this. Heirloom chest. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's the key. Can I? No, we don't need the key. Rests and deeds, which we use, as we discovered, to upgrade buildings. So, guess down here again. And yeah, we are wasting good torchlight, but say la vie, it is what it is. I like loot, and I'm in it for the loot. Now let's move to towards this curio battle. Curios are things like this. Not necessarily good, not necessarily bad. Get a fuck ton of holy water. There's like a ton. So let's use this torch. We're not quite at 100, but it's not worth it to do that. Uh, we, we can't stop and camp at this point. No. Fine. We don't need to. Camping comes up in later. Oh, we surprised them. That's why you turned the light up. So, this would raise Torchlight. This would heal someone. This would heal someone. Well, this is basically a free turn, so let's heal Renald. We don't need to all that much, but it's a free turn. Why not? Use this to hit all three. I'm sorry, miss all three. Uh, Blade Grenade, nice. This could heal you a little, but you don't really need it. So, I guess hit these two. You're blighted, which is garbo. Zealous accusation. No, they're gonna skip their turns. Oh, no. Oh, they're surprised. They're not stunned. Surprise just means we get to go first. I forgot what that meant. Oral. Damn. Yeah, now we're actually taking a fair amount of damage. You're still gonna do this. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. I think you're better off hitting this and lighting it so it'll take damage. This is fine, I suppose. Zealous Accusation would hit these two. Smite would kill it. I think Zealous Accusation would hit anyway. 3 to 7. Well, it might not kill it, but it did. Stun that. I could heal, but I'd rather stun so that I know it can't damage anything. Let's use this. That. This. That. Now. It's still stunned. There we go. Still stunned. There, it's unstunned. Now we kill it. Anti-venom with nice gold, naturally, is nice. Confidence is a slow and insidious killer. Holy fountain. Ornate fountain of holy... I don't know what putting holy water in here would do. Ooh, heals me a lot. Cool. And gets rid of all my stress. Fuck, I should have used it on her then. All right. Oh, now I know. Now we're scouting. Good. Let's head up to there. Now there is a trap on the way up here, which I should keep an eye out for. Oh, it's that. Yeah. You should be the best we have at disarming this. Very cool.
Uh, let's light this up. We have one, two, three rooms left. Now, the torch will get saved if we don't use it. Forget the Plague Doctor. I like the Plague Doctor. Pretty, pretty cool guy. So, we're gonna head here. There's another obstacle, so maybe it was worth our time to grab that second shovel. Holy shit, that's a lot of food. Alright, so food went to heal. Uh, as I can demonstrate here. In, in bigger dungeons, you need to eat every once in a while, or else you start starving. This is not one of those bigger dungeons. I think we're fine. Hunger. There it is. So, eat nothing, take damage and stress, or eat food. I'm like, it won't be a thing, and now it's a thing. Yeah, 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 I know, I know how the torch works, game. I know. I know the torch. Quest complete. Uh, nope. We will continue adventuring, because there's treasure in this room, and I ain't no how of that girl. This requires a shovel to get through, otherwise it would eat up a lot of time. No problem, light up that torch, and let's go on in. Food from a dead guy's backpack. Yeah, probably not that good, but I mean, you take whatever you can, right? So let's play grenades so we just hit both of these. Oh, bone courtiers are pretty annoying. Bone arbalists are also quite a pain in the ass. We don't have any blinding stuff. Hmm. That is a lot of damage I could give somebody. Let's do this first, though. Both blinded. Awesome. Tempting goblet. No, no. It's annoying because it gives stress. Stress will give people bad traits and drive them slowly crazy. We're going to use Grape Shot just because it hits everything, and luckily it killed that guy. Uh, would I like to stun someone, or would I like to... Okay, let's see. Not enough to kill anyone, but this could stun someone. You haven't gone. You have the same stun resistance. I'd like to... What is Graveyard Slash? Oh, I don't know what he does, but I've seen him use... Oh, okay, cool. So you build up, like, a library once you know what people can do. Does buff target mean the ones with the highest HP? No, buffing a target means giving them a, a bonus. So, like, this would buff myself, but, like, some of these would buff the target. So if I selected one of our people, it would give them a good benefit. Uh, Zealous Accusation would hit both of you. It, wouldn't ki it could kill you, but it won't kill you. It won't even hit either of you. Fine. Good. Or, oh, thank God. You can hit the second row. Well, that sucks. But you definitely need to get healed. Let's do the same thing with you. Because that's just really good. Uh, that heal is garbage. I would like... You to do more damage. And I should have just started with that. So, see, now he's buffed. Don't fuck. Oh, he's alive. Wow. I mean, probably not for long, but wow. Gonna use this to again try to hit both of them. Kill that. Hit that. Fuck the highwayman, am I right? Just, okay, now they move back further, they're stunned. Jesus, game, you were all about killing that man. Let's heal him again. That's a horrible heal. Uh, now I only have awful traits to use, so I guess, hope the blight hits you. Nope, resist. Use that, because I can't hit the third row. Yeah, use this. Ooh, the bodies are in the way. So... Fuck! Still didn't hit him. Here, it takes one damage. It's blighted. It will die on its turn. That's good. Use this. There we go. Gold. 
jade These crests. creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. And this contents are not a trap. Bust, crest, and food. Wait, let's get the fuck out of here. Bloodstone. Hmm. I won't use it, but it's interesting. It might be useful later on when we're fighting less skeletons. Undead don't bleed very much. That's a lot of heirlooms. Not a lot of uh, deeds, unfortunately. We got a ton of crests, though. So, these two have leveled? Oh, they've developed traits. So, Dismas, probably something bad, is now Ruminator. So he heals stress more slowly, but he's balanced. So move resistance. He's harder to move. That's cool. Marisco is now a Nymphomania. He heals more stress in brothels. Nymphomaniac, I guess. <laughs> Great. You answered the letter. Now, like me, you are a part of this place. Severe negative quirks. Some negative quirks will walk into place and become severe. Severe negative quirks cost much more to remove in the sanitarium. Huh. Didn't know that. The tavern and the abbey are now unlocked. The tavern and the abbey are used for stress relief. You need stress relieved. While meditating and while camping. The cobwebs have been dusted, the pews set straight. The abbey calls to the faithful. Those so stress relief activities take a week. Meditating, huh. And the Fresh tavern. Kegs, cards, and curtained rooms promise solace to the weary and broken alike. The caretaker. Occasion occasionally. Our spirits will watch the taste of maggots out of my mouth. Gross. Will occasionally take up one of these slots so that you can't. Uh, Renald will only recover from prayer, I think. Because he's a... Because he's God-fearing. He will only pray for stress, really. Now, our stress isn't that bad, except for her. But I still think she's passable. We might switch her off, but she's also our healer, and I kind of don't want to get rid of her. So before I do either of those, I want to take a look at the stagecoach to see what we got. Some occultist, a bounty hunter, and an antiquarian. Antiquarian? Ooh, well, you're not great. You have flash powder. She looks cool. She's fast healer. That's great. She's a ruins tactician. That's great. Thanatophobia. Thanatophobia? Fear of death, I guess, because Thanatos is a god of death, right? Thanatos. No, not Thanos. Thanatos. Yeah, 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 yeah. Personification of death in Greek mythology. Yeah, Thanatos is fear of death. Love well, interest. She will only visit the brothel. Huh. Uh, so she's force guard by ally, buffs an ally, I, I mean, she can make someone dodge a lot and faster, she can lower the accuracy, she's really good at debuffing things, she's got a stab that's not very good, huh, man, I don't even know if I like Antiquarian, as a class it seems... Hmm. I mean, I should pick it up and try it, I suppose. Rominton? Frominton? Flagellation. So relaxing, yeah. It's tough. More HP. That's great. Precise Striker. That's also great. You don't use a ton of melee skills, but... Some of your better attacks are melee skills. Come hither, pulls things toward you, which is awesome. Then you can hit them. So you can pull things in from the back row one turn and then smack them the next. Mark for death makes the enemy take more damage. Flashbang makes things get stunned. I really like 
this character. He's anemic, so he bleeds more easily, and he's a stress eater, so if his stress is above 50, he'll eat more food. But I think we'll hire you. The thrill of the hunt. The promise of payment. Valance is a occultist. Occultists can make things bleed, which is pretty good. No, this isn't a bleed, it just damages things. Abyssal Artillery artillery is quite cool damages both of the things in the back row so it's good for that does a fair amount of damage i think a crazy amount but a fair weakening curse makes things take do less damage this weird reconstruction heals a lot but it also inflicts bleed so you can heal someone but unless you have a way to get rid of bleed it might end up hurting them more in the long run it's a very interesting ability. Vulnerability Hex will make things dodge less. Hands from the Abyss and Demons pull. We don't have, but this I would like. So let's take out, check out Mortain. Mortain has Hands from the Abyss, which is a stun. He still has the heal. He has Abyssal Artillery. So what does he not have? Uh, vulnerability Hex. Yeah, Mortain is a Necromaniac. Weird. Mankind Hater. Does more damage to humans, less stress from humans, less stress in the cove, which we're not doing. You have less crit. Uh, I th think we go with this guy. Mortain, I like more. And to fight the you... abyss, one must know it. I don't know if I like her. She doesn't do any damage. None of her. She doesn't have any damage dealing abilities. She doesn't even do the fortifying vapors. She just buffs things. Which could be good, but is also. weird? I'm gonna hold off on hiring her. So let's go to. the Yips. <laughs> Yips, we gotta get rid of that. Can I go into the sanitarium? No, not yet. Uh, let's go into... Can I have these two heal? What? What do you heal off of? Yeah, let's send you to the brothel. We don't have the brothel unlocked, do we? Nah, we do. Uh, that's pretty expensive for that little stress. I think we might just go ahead with the people we have and deal with stress. You know, to keep the usual suspects. Uh, we've done this. We could do it again. You can always run things again. This is level one. This is level one. This is level one. So explore 90% of rooms. Complete room battles. Complete room battles. This is short. Short. This one's medium. We want to start out by doing the short ones. They're easier. Mad Realm of your fallen ancestor. Creatures have taken over. Don't delve too far. Or Unholy Abomination. Speedstone is just good. The Agility Talon is good, but only for Bounty Hunters. We have a Bounty Hunter, and he'll be used next. And that reward is... Well, we need Deeds anyway, so I say we go for the Estate. The Scouting here? Scouting the Ruins? Oh, okay, you Skirmish in the Ruins, Scout the Ruins, Quench the Ruins the ruins. Okay, yeah, let's do this. So, as we went last time, get a full stack of those. Get a full stack of food, because I ain't fucking around when it comes to that. Uh, skeleton key we didn't need, though we might in the future. I think I'm gonna ease off of using it. We needed two shovels last time, but I'm just gonna take one just in case, because they're quite expensive. And let's embark with that. If we need a shovel, we should be able to find at least one in there. But it's entirely possible through random number luck that we don't. Let's start on this. Face out the halls of your lineage once familiar. Now, foreign. I click a hero's image portrait any time that- oh, we, we do that. We've, we've done that. We did that a long time ago. Ooh, wow, look at this. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is going to be a real pain in the ass as far as torches go, so I'm going to have to use abilities that- Fuck. 
A trait? Love interest. Alright, not that bad. So sometimes... Ooh, he's a known cheat, so he's not allowed to gamble in town. Ever. Uh, because that has a skull next to it. That'll be harder to remove. We'll only visit the brothel. Oh, okay. Well, can't gamble, but he can brothel, so no real loss. Fuck. Carelessness will find no clemency in this place. It's easier to find traps if it's bright, but we're playing it kind of fast and loose with torches here. We surprised them. Awesome. That means that I can play grenade you two. I can make you bleed. I can heal you, or I can dazzle somebody else. Give you the old razzle dazzle. And let's give you a stun if I can. Cool, so only you were gonna go. You're still gonna do decent damage, but. <laughs> gonna hit everyone. Not very much, though. Let's try that again. Same thing, play grenade on you two. Both blighted, that's awesome. Let's heal you. Not very much, but better than nothing. Let's... you're already bloodied. Let's just hit both of you, I suppose. Uh, or I could just kill you. Yeah, let's go for the kill here. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. And then you'll die, and then you're all that's left, so... You're gonna go first. Point blank shot would knock you back if it hits, and it did. Didn't get knocked back, though. Um... I'm doing this to get the torch higher, because we didn't bring enough torches, and I didn't realize it till now. Right, none of these raise torch stuff. No, nope, just open vein. And I stun you. Stunning would add torch, so let's go ahead for the stun. Stun worked great, so you'll take damage on your turn and nothing else. Uh, stun. Or let's just try to kill you. Let's just try to kill you. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharp blade. We got blade. press, gold, and citrine. Nice. Scouting is great. There's a trap on our way there. It's an awesome... I forget if we're required to search out the entire area, but I'd like to anyway. So it radiant white, that's great. Let's move down. So we'll find this first. Dashed heirlooms. A handsome portraits. Reward eh. For a task well performed. Again, you have the highest speed, so I think you're the best at disarming. Yeah. Disarming might be calculated a different way, but I don't know. So we have how many torches? Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pop that. Nothing. Okay, anticlimactic. But at least we've gone there. And this is running down our torch, unfortunately. This has a trap and a curio, but it doesn't look like there will be any combat on the way here. I'm getting insanely lucky with traps so far. You're gonna read it. You have the lowest stress, so if something bad happens, I'd rather it happen to you. Can I put holy water on this? Item had no effect. Okay, it just wastes the item. Good. So, one of these, two of these, because we have one, two, three, four, five rooms after that, and we have enough torches, so no worries. Nothing. Hmm. All right. Again, bookshelf. I have the low stress on him, so he's going to open it. Knowledge changes the hero. He's an armor tinkerer. Armor tinker makes armor upgrades 20% cheaper. Fuck yeah. I'm liking this highwayman. He's squishy, 
but I'm interested in keeping him alive. I mean, I'm interested in keeping everyone alive, but particularly him. All right, this is dragging on a little bit. Map inside, cool. A map does this for us. So we missed a little bit here. Let's go back to here. I'm just gonna pop through here to get this curio and then double back. Open this bookshelf. No, it changes the hero. He's clumsy. God damn it. All right, we ugh, we gotta get rid of clumsy. Clumsy's real bad. His dodge just got halved. So after this, I think if I have the sanitarium open, you're going there, my dude. Let's go down here. And should have Renald open anything in the future. Yeah, we got surprised because the light level isn't great. Dim light is increasing our stress, which is not desirable. Light grenade. You. Let's bleed you. Hand of light. Let's just move you back. Eldritch pull. Okay. That's what Eldritch Pool does. Ran for the old gods. This is a bleed attack. Yep. Weakened. Graveyard slash justice damage, I think. There's no bleed from that. Everything turns red. Uh, we can buff up the light, but I'd rather just hit these two. Continually onslaught. Destroy Batman and Wolverine all. had a baby? Oh, you mean the, the what he had going on. The punching daggers and you be blighted you can't good you get shot confidence surges as the enemy crumbles you heal him <laughs> now he's dead yep thankfully we're gonna use this to boost up the torch level the blight should make this die on its own turn yep so I got the light out of that. Max health, lower speed. That's really good for certain classes. Let's rearrange what's going on here. You need to be here. Okay. Yeah, that's it. You can't staunch your bleeding because I didn't get anything to do that because I thought we'd just use this dude's ability to do it. Fine. <laughs> Watch your just step. run into everything. Uh, let's... Turn up the light. We'll heal him next battle. Self buff. Not a problem. Well, cool. that room's gone. Now we are about to run into combat here. So knowing that, I'm gonna raise the light. As the light I'm also gains going to purchase, eat, 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 spirits eat. Are lifted. And now go for it. Made clear. I was hoping we would surprise them. No such luck. That was a terrible opening. Volley. Poro does a lot of damage. Oh, I'll have to watch that. Ooh, they have two of them. I don't love that. I'm a little concerned we might lose someone here. Let's do that. Hmm, let's heal you. I was talking about healing him, but that's not what's happening here. Well, it might have to. Crit sucks. Double the kill. Is broken. Maintain the offensive. Play grenade both of these. Hopefully you reapply the light on you. Awesome. Heal? Oh, I suppose. Heal you. Uh, well, I could have used her to stun someone, so maybe I should have done that. God damn! Okay, go to missed. Even with this terrible dodge. Do I turn up the light? I can't reach any of them. So I guess hit both of these corpses. That wasn't enough. Okay. Blight will kill it on the next turn. 
I don't think we're gonna lose anyone, but it will actually come fairly close. Uh, this heal would do next to nothing. I'd rather just keep doing slight amounts of damage to them in the interest of pushing this along. Can I shoot you? We should be fine now. The way is lit. The path is clear. Yeah, and you should die on your It'll turn. Require only the strength to follow it. Do yourself. Not digging all these low rolls. And you heal them. You. Man, I guess shoot it, but I kind of want to drag this out more so I can keep healing. I'm going to shoot that instead. And then you go next, don't you? Yeah, okay, well, maybe I should have shot it. Citrine and gold. We're down to, well, three rooms. Open that with you. Ooh, but you're a kleptomaniac, so I should not have done that. Trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. Tangled with some unruly louts, Raven called them cultists. They were ferocious, but clumsy. Turn the light off and may go. We find victory. Maybe I should have brought more food. I don't think I could have brought more food. Up, oh, scouting the last room. Oh, that's it, huh? Okay. Well, there's just one more fight left in here. Maybe. Hopefully. What the fuck is this? Sacrifice of fire is the gate to ruin. Place a torch if you crave the void. Well, I don't, but like... <laughs> awesome! Oh, that is cool. Alright, what does this do? Debuffs the target? I guess you fucking debuff this. I did this to myself. I think I'm completely fucked here. We're gonna find out. Let's make it bleed. Um, that's terrible. Oh. I'm gonna buff him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, only one damage, but... Fuck. I, I'm like, that seems like a bad idea. I shouldn't put a torch in that. But it was interesting, so I wanted to see what happened. And now I know. The hero is blighted. Yep, I guess let's use that. And let's move backward. So, pistol shot can hit anything in here, I guess. Cracking shot I can use, it'll make me do more damage, it makes me more accurate. I'm blighted. It's, the blight isn't gonna kill me, but damn it might come close. Let's do the eh. God, Renault started in the back. This was rough. Uh, would this kill this? It would. This would debuff this. I guess debuff this. It's Denorius laments. God damn it, Renault <laughs> keeps being moved to the back. I'm not optimistic about this. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. So Death's Door, if he gets hit again, he'll die. Hopeless. There can <laughs> be no hope in this hell. Great. No hope at all. Oh, oh loving the optimism I'm getting here. Um, use that, that won't die, that won't die. This will cure that blight, though. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hit. Renault needs to be in the front. He's not in the front, and it's been sucking so much. I think we're fucked here. 
Which is fine, which is fine. That's a lot of how this game goes. And now the mm. true test. Mm. Yeah. Hold fast or expire. Now there's a retreat from combat button. <laughs> Discretion is a better part of valor. Yeah, game, I hear you. I hear you. I'd rather just lose everyone. More dust, more ashes, more disappointment. This wasn't an impossible fight, either. It was just that way because he kept being pushed into the back. So I couldn't actually do anything with him, and she was in the front, which is the most worthless place for her. Hmm. Okay. No. As life ebbs, terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. That door. I was seeing a battle him, <laughs> which stresses him out. Uh, it would behoove us to retreat here, but I'd rather just let these people die and get all new folks, because I'm not that big of a fan of these people anyway. And I want to see if this has any more mechanics, so that I am not surprised by it next time. Jesus Christ! I'm amazed she isn't dead. This death door, death door, death door. She wants to live, god damn. Achievement, what is dead? Cannot die. Have a character survive five attacks at death door in a single combat. I mean, yeah, what I'm trying to do is just build up these achievements, clearly. Yeah, she's a fucking trooper. It won't matter, but pretty impressive. There we go. Breathes heavily. Clapper claw. Kind of like Jabberjaw. <laughs> See only swirling blackness. Resolve is tested. Now this can happen. It's not always bad. Sometimes they become courageous and get yeah buffs. <laughs> it dies immediately. Ah, interesting. Now I got a couple of achievements for having a party wipe. The campaign is long. I did it on purpose. Will come. I think that's a great place to wrap up our first hour. Uh, if you are watching on YouTube, long years may seek to separate them. Ooh. Action, maddening wine. Consequence will continue to descend upon the planet with pestilence, illness, and irritation all around. No new courtyard quest. Hear ye, hear ye. Ha. Huh. Interesting. Oh, oh yeah. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. You have these little bugs flying around here now. That's so cool. Uh, anyway, anyway. You too. I'll see you next time.